everyone, Scott here. I want to just address a comment we received up, and you can see it in the corner here, on our YouTube page with an interesting perspective about bias in sports journalism. The commenter asked if I'm always wearing silver and black colored glasses or questioning whatever, noting a perceived negativity about my discussion around the Raiders. First off, I appreciate the comment and the thoughtfulness behind it, but it's true. People often hear what they want to hear and gravitate toward opinions that reinforce their own views. It's a common human trait, not just in sports, but in all aspects of life. So to answer your question, I strive for balance, but let's be real. Balance doesn't mean equal praise and criticism at all times. My job is to analyze, to question, and yes, to celebrate when the occasion calls for it. If it seems like I'm tough on the Raiders, it's because that's what I have to do. That's what I do. I try to cover the team fairly. When they do poorly, I say they do poorly. When they do well, I say they do well. So let's make sure it's worth mentioning that any show, any analyst, it's vital to challenge ideas, strategies, and outcomes. That's how discussions deepen and understanding grows. It's not about wearing a team's colors. It's about being honest, forthright, and sometimes, yes, critical. You can agree with me, disagree with me, love the show, hate the show, have suggestions for improvement. That's fine. What matters is that we're engaging in debate and discussion. That's the heart of sports journalism, and that's what keeps the show dynamic and interesting. Mo and I both look at it that same way, and if you think I'm overly negative, you should check yourself and perhaps maybe say, hey, is he being negative or is he being fair? Because guess what? If you look at it from my perspective, I'm not an emotional fan. Mo and I both go back and forth. You say he's more balanced. You say I'm more balanced. Guess what? It's somewhere in between because we strive for that all the time. So thank you guys for joining us. Thanks for the comments. Keep them coming. I love the open discussion.